Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me today, you guys. It's time for our daily get together. It's Thursday, February 8th, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you today, Taurus. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? Taurus. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. Let's get serious. All right, Taurus, wow, you're getting your justice, Libra energy, and, and you have the Ace of Pentacles with it. Justice is coming in, all right? Something's, something was done to you that is very unfair, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if someone did something unfair to you or what happened that was unfair, but something unfair happened and your justice is coming in. And the Ace of Pentacles is here. So there's a wrong that's going to be made right. Seeing you finding complete and total happiness here with the Ten of Cups. Um, I don't know what, what was done wrong to you, but it appears to be something that happened at home. And I'm seeing you receiving a message here where someone's actually going to say, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I see an apology. You have the Queen of Swords in the center of your reading. So you have messages coming in. You're showing up, holding up your sword like you're, like you're ready for it. But some, someone's behind you here like, I'm sorry. And then you have the hanged man, Pisces energy. You're going to be dropping a lot of weight off your back, okay, with the Ten of Wands. This is going to be a huge relief to you. I don't have you guys seeing all the cards. Let's do this. Let's do it right. You're going to be dropping a lot of burdens, a lot of weight, because this is going to free you from being in this defensive energy. What does Taurus need to know? And then you have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you have this energy of going from the Queen of Swords, and it doesn't matter what gender you are. You embody all of the queens in the tarot deck um, to the queen of cups, like softening up, like not feeling so defensive because I see someone coming in here with apology saying, hey, I'm sorry. The seven of swords is here and you have the five of wands. So we'll find out what that's about, but let's move into justice. Why is justice here? You have the two of wands. You could be feeling stuck. Like, I don't know which way to go. Um, there's a decision that needs to be made. You have the lovers, Gemini energy. I don't know, you know, you're feeling like, I don't know which way to go here. Um, someone's being unfair. It's like being unfairly judged. You have temperance. And here's the apology coming in. This is Sagittarius energy. You have this knight coming in with a cup, bringing you justice, wanting to make things right, wanting to bring in the peace. And there's the Ace of Pentacles. Hand it over to this Ten of Cups, this happy home, happy family. Let's start over again. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, see, you... You've been feeling so defensive and guarded that you're even wearing two different shoes. And that is crazy. That's too much stress. You don't need all of that stress.
You have Virgo energy here with the Hermit. And you have the Emperor Aries energy. And someone's coming out of Hermit mode, taking control, and coming to you again with an apology. Tell me why the Ten of Cups is here. You have the Nine of Cups, the King of Wands, and the King of Cups. Someone here is pulling themselves together. They're getting all of these cups lined up, you know, and they're pulling themselves together. And I'm feeling like this person had time to sit back and think and let the, you know, let the water stop boiling. And so the two of you, I'm seeing the two of you coming, to, coming together here and being able to have a conversation and this happy this happiness shows up here together and a new plan being created to move into calmer water why is the page of wands here someone has a new plan with the page of wands and this new plan is something to get rid of this energy of feeling worried all right and then all of your energy is is showing up like you're shifting you're shifting your focus now here to the queen of pentacles so you're looking at your stability here and you're worried about it and this person comes out of hermit mode and they've been silent. The Two of Swords is here. Like this person's been silent, closed off. They're coming out of hermit mode and coming to you. Um, like they're, they're taking charge. This person's done some thinking here, Taurus. Why is the Queen of Swords here? See, there you are, the Emperor. This, I mean, the Empress. And do not pay attention to the gender... Um, male or female, your energy is just simply the Empress. It's Taurus energy. Um, so there's the there's the next queen. <laughs> you know, I think you got all the queens now, along with your your Empress and your energy that embodies all of these queens. All right, so I'm seeing you taking back control and being able to sit back like i'm getting this energy here of feeling ease and feeling happiness and feeling a drive like a fight for for what your energy really needs to go into and it makes you very very happy this is a war you're going to win and then you have the eight of cups here so this is in the center of your reading of someone coming walking back around again. And it's like you're ready for them. But this person comes in different than how you're expecting them to come in. And the Eight of Wands is messages going back and forth about working on things. Tell me why the Eight of Wands is here. You have the Hierophant. Taurus energy again in the Five of Cups. Yeah, this is this is someone that you have a commitment with. And there's been confusion with the Seven of Cups. But the confusion is lifting. And I'm seeing the two of you being able to come together here. And... um. The, the messages that are going back and forth are about the fact that there, the two of you still love each other. The two cups are still standing and this person's going to tell you they regret their, what they've done. And it's they may not say this, but I'm seeing someone who actually may even feel embarrassed about the way they've acted. The next card you have as we look into the future, you have... The hanged man. See a new beginning in love here. Uh, you could be waiting for this person. Tell me why the hanged man is here. 
But I really feel like there's a new way of doing things, a new way of looking at this situation. See the sun, Leo energy, the happiest card in the tarot deck. Looking at the bigger picture, it's like you and whoever this person is, you come up with some type of plan here to bring in the sun so that everything can grow in the garden, you know, because you are the empress. You sit in a garden here and you don't chase, you attract. And so you're going to be very happy with the new plan because it's going to change things in a way that drops these burdens from your shoulders. Tell me why the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, somebody, somebody feels heartbroken. They want to heal this broken heart, this pain. Um, they're willing to be vulnerable here. This is Aquarius energy. And their intuition is telling them, you know, that they know that all that you do, Taurus, all of this work and everything that you do, this person knows it. And they're, you know, they want to come and heal things and make things right. Whatever is broken in this connection, I'm seeing it being fixed. And this is your softer side, the Queen of Cups coming out now. Tell me why the Queen of Cups is here. But whoever this person is, Taurus, the, the bad part of it is, I'm saying all of this good stuff, they, they do have a secret. And some type of an argument could happen over again. You have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm not sure what this secret is, but there's someone here that kind of goes quiet with the Four of Cups. And I'm seeing, like, um, an argument. Tell me why the Five of Swords is here. And I don't like this because this reading was going so good. The Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So I do see an argument happening after this reconciliation, after coming up with a plan, but it it's going to reconcile again very soon. You're going from the Nine of Wands here where you may get disgusted about something, but then it, it comes back together again here with the Ace of Wands where um, it's really not as big of a deal as what it seemed to be. So let's look at this because there, there's a bit of a sneaky energy here. Tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. This person goes into hermit mode. Where they're quiet. And the thing is, is I feel like they're doing some type of a job or something here with the Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles. I don't, I don't really see this person doing anything like cheating or anything. But I'm seeing the truth come out. And spirits are showing us a bit of an argument here again. Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they're slow and they're kind of held back here. And then they, they do send a message. This person is on again, off again type of energy because they're doing something here where I feel like they're, you know, it's going to be different for all of you, but it's, I see a lot of green here. Like this person could be working on like 
overtime or something someone's working making extra money I don't pick up a third party in that reading right there spirits advice for Taurus what does Taurus need to know okay so you have last quarter moon and Scorpio reveal what needs to be seen And then you have full moon and Capricorn. Take a reality check. And new moon and Virgo. Trust all will be well. And that's what we're getting out of this reading is all will be well, Taurus. And full moon and Virgo. Take inspired action. I feel like you're going to have like a new inspiration to... Um, work on yourself because I'm seeing financial stability coming through in your energy so push through any insecurity first quarter moon in cancer and make time for self-love last quarter moon in Libra and trust all will be well Taurus that's what spirits are telling you here all will be well all right you guys thank you for all of the lovely energy and um for being here with me i love you guys so much and um we'll meet back up here again tomorrow taurus namaste